Hi, Sean Stefanski at the Howdbacker Corporation. We're uh, running some combustion analysis on a 90 plus furnace. Uh, technicians call all the time and they want to know about certain levels of different things that they're looking at. One of the numbers that I think is the most crucial that you want to look at is your oxygen or your O2. Uh, generally speaking, I think you're looking for a range between 6 and 9% on most appliances. That can be higher or it can be lower. You will find that number to be higher on things with short vent systems, 80 plus furnaces, things where you really can't control how much air is going through that. So, you know, it's not unusual to see 11, 12, something like that on O2 levels, which really just means, you know, in a lot of cases, it could affect your lighting, it could affect the efficiency, things like that, but usually not a terrible situation. What you do gotta watch out for is when you start getting under 5%, 4% oxygen, especially on a 90 plus furnace, air is going in and then coming back out that flue pipe, you could have a secondary heat exchanger type of problem. Let me show you what that looks like on one of our meters. Today we're using a Testo 310. It looks like this. You'll see this appliance has been up and running for about, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes now. We're running about 6.8% O2, which is a great number. I tell guys, anything above five, that number should be very stable. It should be bouncing around. It should be going down. If that number keeps dropping on a 90 plus furnace, it goes from six, five to four to three that could be an indication the secondary heat exchanger is filling up with water so you really want to watch that number that's a really great number to tell you really what's going on in the combustion process the other thing is you want to look at that number upon startup once you start the piece of equipment up before the blower comes on that number should stabilize out let's say it's seven percent o2 but when the blower comes on on the furnace what you're looking for is a change in oxygen if I'm running at 7% and the blower comes on and all of a sudden it goes up to 10, 11, 12%, that could very well indicate that there's something wrong with the heat exchanger when the blower comes on, that you're putting air into the heat exchanger, that's where you're picking up the additional oxygen. So when you're looking at O2, be very careful on numbers you're looking at. I would say as a rule of thumb, six to nine percent is a good number. Being a little bit high on that, 10, 11, 12, isn't the end of the world. You will see that on some 90 plus furnaces, depending on the vent diameter, plus furnaces depending on the you know the flue pipe the buoyancy through the chimney so you can see a little bit higher what you really got to watch for is low too when that number starts going under five percent four percent three percent that indicates something is probably not right you're not going to have enough oxygen for combustion and, and, and most importantly wait for that number look for that number upon startup and then see if there's a difference when the blower comes on if that number goes up and the blower comes on that could indicate something wrong with the primary heat exchanger, a crack, because when the blower comes on, it's pushing air in, and it goes out through the flue pipe, raising the O2 level. Hope you find that helpful. Look for more videos.